Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and the bus is coming to Nevada to drop off some new gun laws. SB Tactical, the originator of the pistol stabilizing brace, set the bar for innovation and product development in the PDW pistol category. From the insanely popular SBM4 to the adjustable SBA3 and even kits for pump action firearms, SB Tactical braces are available for a wide variety of firearm platforms in fixed, adjustable, and side folding models. To get 15% off your legally transported and carried pistol braces, use the code TGC15 over at sb-tactical.com. Assembly Bill 291 was delivered to Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak and signed into law. The bill's what's known as an omnibus bill. Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. You can go anywhere if you just pretend. Which means that it's a single bill that's accepted in a single vote by the legislature, but packages together several measures into one or combines diverse subjects. You may have heard the term before with the omnibus spending bill for the federal government. So what does this bill cover? First up is yet another red flag law. This one allows a law enforcement officer who has probable cause or a family member or household member who reasonably believes that a person poses a risk of causing personal injury to themselves or others by purchasing, acquiring, possessing, or having under their custody or control a firearm may file a verified application for an ex parte order. Again, ex parte means the person who the order would be enforced against is not present. As with many of the other red flag laws that we've seen, this one in the bill requires an order to be issued by the court if it finds by the preponderance of the evidence that the person poses an imminent risk of causing personal injury to themselves or others, the person engaged in high risk behavior, and less restrictive options have been exhausted or were just not effective. Now, remember, when we're talking about evidentiary standards, preponderance of the evidence is the lowest bar. After an ex parte order is issued, a hearing must be held within seven days. There is a provision that provides for extensions of the order, but at that point, it requires the court to find by clear and convincing evidence that the person poses an imminent risk of causing personal injury to themselves or others, they engaged in high risk behavior, and less restrictive options have been exhausted or were just not effective. The person who requested or the person who was affected by the order may seek the dissolution of an ex parte or extended order. Upon finding by, again, clear and convincing evidence that the person no longer poses a risk of causing personal injury to themselves or others, the court shall dissolve the order. The bill also contains language that would prohibit a person from importing, selling, manufacturing, transferring, receiving, or possessing any device that, when attached to a semi-automatic firearm, materially increases the rate of fire of the firearm or approximates the action or rate of fire of a machine gun. Also included is any device, part, or combination of parts that are designed and function to materially increase the rate of fire of a semi-automatic firearm by eliminating the need for the operator to make a separate movement for each individual function of the trigger. And any semi-automatic firearm that's been modified in any way that materially increases the rate of fire or approximates the action or rate of fire of a machine gun. I don't know about you, but I have no idea what the term materially increases the rate of fire means. And of course, it isn't defined. Also, in case you missed it, we already proved that bump stocks weren't machine guns in a previous video. One round. Not a machine gun. Alright, stop, broke. Round being ejected. I just want to state for the record that this is freaking good. How are you bad? Violations of this section are a Category D felony, which is punishable by a term of imprisonment of one to four years and a fine up to $5,000. And as always, law enforcement and military are exempt. Also changed is the acceptable amount of alcohol one can have in their blood while in possession of a firearm. It's been reduced from a BAC of 0.10 to 0.08. The prohibition does not apply to the actual physical possession of a firearm by a person who was in their own residence and had the firearm in their possession solely for self-defense. If signed, it would now be a crime to negligently store or leave a firearm at a location when a person knows or has reason to know that there's a substantial risk that a child prohibited from handling or having in their possession or control any firearm may obtain a firearm. The bill lists those types of firearms that the child may have in their possession. So, as you can see, the omnibus bill addresses a number of gun-related topics that the only common thread linking them is guns. 
red flag laws, safe storage, and certain modifications to semi-automatic firearms are just some of the topics covered. As I said on last week's episode, don't be surprised if you see legislation like this being introduced in your state. That's it for this episode. If you learned anything from the show, help us out. Hit that like button. Make sure you share it around with your friends. Don't forget to get subscribed. And if you enjoyed the video, consider supporting us via the links down in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching. And the bus is coming to Nevada. And the bus is coming to Nevada, not the bus. <laughs> the Omnibus. Yeah, but that's lame. Yeah, I know. So is the gun control bus. Well, you have short buses, you have long buses, you have school buses, you have SEPTA buses, you have omnibuses. I think we were good with just bus. And today, the bus of legislatures is coming into Nevada to drop off some new gun laws. Just use the first one. That was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> the bus of legislature. <laughs> yeah. Just use the bus, Izzy. And sorry for wasting like four minutes of your life with this whole bus thing that we couldn't figure out. <laughs> Yep, it's over, but don't worry, you can click on the video up top to watch last week's show, and the one below that is the one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Check them out and let me know what you think.